All right, it's now Sunday afternoon. Wanted to take a look at those Indiana Jones numbers and see where things are at, how we're doing, and nothing's changed. It's still not good. Uh, This movie is not going to make its money back. It's not even going to get close. The worldwide box office for this movie, at least according to Deadline, is now $248 million. It hasn't even taken away from the fact that half of that $248 million goes to the theaters. It's not even close to getting to the budget. So, yeah, this movie is done because Mission Impossible comes out in a few days, and I fully expect that movie to completely dominate the box office. It's going to completely wreck figures. It's probably going to be the biggest movie of the summer. I I think easily it takes number one for a couple of weeks. I just don't see maybe Barbie can, can go back and forth with it a little bit. I don't think Oppenheimer is really going to do much as much as I want to see that movie. Actually, I think it's going to be a good movie. Uh, That movie, I'm not so sure that movie really does big, big numbers at the box office. Maybe it will. I don't know. All I know is Mission Impossible pretty much has an open freeway to take off. So let's take a look at these numbers because (laughs) this is just, this is one of the biggest Hollywood disasters in a long time. The Flash is a Hollywood disaster. But I think Indiana Jones is a little bit more of a disaster for a few reasons. One, Disney has had flop after flop after flop after flop. So this is just yet another flop for them, though this one is a big one. The funny story, though, is that Indiana Jones and Elemental are only a few weeks apart from each other. Both are massive flops. Look at that Disney magic is dead. That digi- Disney magic is dead, so this Insidious movie has destroyed it. Uh, it looks like that 70% uh, drop was only for Friday, too, by the way. I don't know what the average of the three days is going to bring in, but still, at least one of the days it dropped by 70%, which is funny. A busy weekend at the International Box Office with a strong, scary new entry, some unexpected spark in holds, and a milestone for a long-running franchise. Out of the gate this frame, Sony and Bloomhouse's Insidious the Red Door knocked out the biggest overseas horror debut since 2019 with 31.4 from 52 markets. This is the best for the franchise in like-for-like markets, including domestic. The Global Bow is 64 million. Yeah, I didn't know this is a franchise. I've never seen any of these insidious movies. All I know is I didn't know or see any marketing. I don't know of any marketing. I haven't seen any marketing for this movie. But imagine it's probably relying on our on word of mouth and the fact that fans will go see another one. And they did. Uh picking this box office weekend was smart for them too. Because <laughs> they defeated a weak Disney. Uh, turning to the holdovers, Disney, Lucasfilms, Indiana Jones, and the Dial of Destiny in its sophomore season has moved the needle to $248 million globally. Coming off of a softer than hoped for opening last week, and the movie dipped 41% overseas, whipping up an additional $31.8 million from 52 markets this frame. The international... Box office total is now 126.7 million. Now we can go over the domestic numbers. Jones hits 32 million. That's what they pulled in North America. Pretty freaking pathetic. A red door is opening to thirty-two point sixty-five million this weekend, the second best start in the Insidious franchise after Chapter Two's forty point two million. And Tooming 
Indiana Jones in second place with a 26.5 million second weekend. Red Door also reps the best start in the last two years for a PG-13 horror movie. More pom-poms for Sony. Their Marvel Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse just outstripped Disney Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 as the highest grossing movie of the summer. Wow. That's crazy. And, and you know, <laughs> what's funny is this is a character that's, that Sony only has the movie rights to. Like, Disney as a whole still owns Spider-Man. But they can't do anything with the character in theaters. I do think that that's funny. Imagine making DC comic book movies and not having access to Batman. That's really what this is. So I always laugh when Sony gets wins with Spider-Man because it's really just more middle fingers to Disney. They don't need Disney. I kind of like Spider-Man being in his own universe, to be honest. I don't see any... He's always been a solo character in the comics. So there's not really, in my opinion, much benefit for Spider-Man to be in the MCU. For Sony, anyway. They don't need Marvel. Look how they're doing with these movies. They should just dump Marvel. Do their own thing. That'd just be another blow to Disney, which uh, I, I always enjoy seeing because Disney is a shitty company. So here are the numbers. Insidious, the Red Door, 3,188 theaters. Friday, 15.22 million. Saturday, 10.1 million. And the estimated the estimated numbers for Sunday are 7.3 for a three-day weekend of 32.65 million. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is at 4,600 theaters. Friday, 7.6 million. That's where it was down 68%. Saturday, it's bringing in ten point nine million and eight million for Sunday with a three day twenty six point five million fifty six percent drop. I really thought it would go a little bit more than that. Kind of, kind of interested because No Time to Die is but fifty seven percent drop, but it had a good opening weekend. No Time to Die actually made its money back, unlike Indiana Jones. That's not going to happen. So that's the number. Sound of Freedom doing really good. Hit $40 million almost for its first opening weekend. For that movie, that's amazing. And that's a $14 million budget. This movie's already made its money back. It's already made its money back. So that's where we're at. Elemental uh, finally hits $100 million too. <laughs> Poor Disney. Look at this list, too. So many flops on this list it's actually kind of impressive like look at this here's a flop here's a flop here's a flop here's another one no hard feelings has a 40 million dollar budget so this movie still needs to make like another 20 million dollars just to make its budget uh and then here's a flop and another flop right here out of 10 movies Ten movies, six of them are flops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of ten movies in the top ten right now are disastrous flops for their Hollywood studios. Hollywood's in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free, but if you are a supporter over here i do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me also it's a good place to catch all of my content you don't have to worry about notifications like youtube they'll definitely work over here so come check out my locals